Good day, great people. We are working on Word 2019 in practice. Chapter 2, Guided Project 2-1. Click on your start file. Once your file downloads, click on it to open. If your file says open or save, go ahead and choose the save option. And then to the left on your PC, you'll see the option where it says this PC. And select downloads and click save as in that location. Click on Enable Editing. The first step in the document says we are going to change the margins of the document. If you're working with your page and you have them side by side, I recommend that you increase the size so that it's only one page. It's a lot easier to work with. But I click the Page Setup Launcher. It's on the Layout tab in the Page Setup group. So the Page Setup Launcher is here. I'm going to click it. It's going to open up the page setup dialog box. We're going to change the left margin to 0 0.75. And then we're going to change the right margin to 0 0.75. Go ahead and click OK. Step 4 says change the theme and the theme color of the document. So we're going to click the Themes button. We're going to go to the Design tab. Your Themes button is the first button in the ribbon. Click the drop down arrow. We're going to select Integral, which is the first row, fourth option. Select Integral. We're going to click the Colors button, which is here. We're going to scroll all the way down to the last option and select Aspect. Step 5 says change the font size, paragraph spacing, and line spacing of the entire document. In order to do that, you're going to hit Control on your keyboard and then press A to select everything. We're going to change the font size to 11, so click on the Home tab. In the Font group, click on the drop-down arrow next to the size and select 11. We're going to change the line spacing to single, so in the Paragraph section, click on the Paragraph Launcher button. Where it says Line Spacing, click the drop-down arrow and select Single. And we're going to change the after paragraph spacing to 6, so click the up arrow until you get to 6 point. Once you have that, click OK. Step 6 says apply styles to selected text. Place the insertion point in the first line of the text where it says contractors, insurance questionnaires, so place your cursor here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it a little better. Make sure your cursor is flashing here. I'm going to click the Title Style, so make sure you're on the Home tab. In the Styles group, we're looking for Title. We see it here. We're going to click it one time. Therefore, the text now has the style title applied to it. I'm going to select the second line of the document where it starts off with Please Carefully Read and Understand All Questions. We're going to right-click the text once we have it selected. Try that again. Right-click the text. You'll see here in your menu that pops up, you have the option to choose styles in the mini toolbar. Click it, and we're looking for book style. We find it at the bottom of the list, so select book style. Click the change case button. Make sure you're on the home tab. In the font group, you'll see the change case button looks like this. Click on the drop down arrow, select uppercase. Next, we're going to select Applicants Instructions. So we're going to highlight Applicants Instructions. And we're going to apply the Intense Quote Style from the Style Gallery. So we go back to our Style Gallery, and we click on Intense Quote. If you don't see Intense Quote in your listing, click on the More button to expand it so you can see all of the styles available. Click on Intense Quote. Apply the strong style to the three words in all caps. So here below it says, please answer all. We're going to highlight all. We're going to go to the style gallery and select strong. We're going to highlight none because it's in all caps. And we're going to go to the style gallery and select strong. Go to the second none listed and click on strong. Then it says select insurance application disclaimer. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the second page of the document. Right below the last if yes, please explain. And right above the undersigned applicant warrants, 
going to highlight insurance application disclaimer and we're going to also format that to be intent quote style so select that step seven says modify an existing style so we're going to click the more button to display all the styles in the styles gallery and we're going to search for intense quote so right click on intense quote select modify first thing we're going to do is change the size from 11 to 12 then we're going to click on the format button in the bottom left hand corner of your screen we're going to select paragraph paragraph dialog box pops up and we want to change the left indentation to zero and the right indentation to zero as well once you have that done go ahead and click OK and then click OK again before you click OK the second time make sure that the radio button says only in this document is selected then click OK step 8 says add borders and shading to the selected text so we're going to select the first three paragraphs below insurance application disclaimer starting here where it says the undersigned applicant and ending at a part of such policy I click the borders drop down arrow so make sure in the home tab this is the borders button this is the drop down arrow go all the way down until you see borders and shading select borders and shading on the borders tab select custom in the style group make sure you have the first option which is the solid line selected under color click the drop down arrow and we're going to search for orange accent one it is the first row fifth color choose that we're going to click the width drop down and select one point and we're going to click the left and right border buttons in the preview area this is the left click it and this is the right click it make sure it says apply to paragraph click the options button and we're going to change the left to five and the right to five click OK going to click on the shading tab where it says fill click on the drop down arrow and you're looking for orange accent one lighter 80 percent so select that you should see over here in the preview area that it fills in click OK now your text should look like mine number nine says change the paragraph spacing and add a tab stop with an underlined leader to selected text we want to select the last three lines of the text on the page name and title of insured signature of insured and date of application I'm going to click the paragraph launcher button and we're going to change the before spacing to 12 click the tabs button at the bottom left hand part of your paragraph dialog box tab stop position we're going to type in the number seven we're going to select right for the alignment and we're going to select four for the solid line for the leader click on set and then click OK. Click at the end of name and title of insured and press tab. Click at the end of signature of insured and press tab. Click at the end of date of application and press tab. Number 10 says add a multi level list to the selected text and modify list settings so select the lines of text beginning with applicant so scroll to the very top of your document here it says applicant you want to select that all the way down until you get to the last if yes please explain on the second page we're going to click the multi-level list button it's on the home tab in the paragraph section you have the bullets the numbers and then the multi-level list Click the drop down arrow and you want to select the 1AI, which is this one selected. Your list should be numbered all the way down through 40. 
we're going to select the multi-level but multi-level list button again and we're going to go down now and click on define new multi-level list we're going to click on set for all levels when this opens up we're going to set bullet number position for first level to zero text position for first level we're going to increase it to three an additional indent for each level we're going to increase it to three so it should be 0 0.3 0 0.3 once you have that click OK and then click OK again to close the define new multi-level list dialog box we're going to increase indent on the selected lines so click anywhere in the list to deselect it does not matter now place your cursor insertion point in line 13 in the numbered list. So scroll up until you get to line 13, and you're going to place your cursor here. It says if yes, limit required. In the paragraph section, we're going to look for the increase indent button, and we're going to click it one time. You're going to repeat this step for every if yes that you see. Line 16 has one. Line 17. Line 19. Scroll down, line 21, line 22, scroll down, line 23, and line 25, line 26, and line 26 again, 28, and then line 29. You should have a total of 28A once you get finished with increasing the indent for the if yes. Step 12 says change paragraph spacing on the multi-level list and add a right tab stop with an underlined leader. So we're going to select the list that we just formatted from 28A all the way to 1. You should stop at applicant. You're going to click the Paragraph Launcher button. And where it says, don't add space between paragraphs of the same style, make sure this is deselected. Make sure there's not a check mark in this box. We're going to click the Tabs button. Where it says Tab Stop Position, press the number 7. Alignment should be to the right. And the leader should be 4 for the solid line. Click on Set. Go ahead and click OK. Put your cursor right behind the colon in the applicant. Press Tab on your keyboard. We're going to repeat these steps all the way down until we have finished and we have lines for each number and letter on the questionnaire. I have 14. Down. By the way, if you're in here and you're working and you end up making a mistake on your keyboard, the magical undo button, keystrokes, or control plus the letter Z. So if you hit control Z because you've made a mistake, it will undo that one mistake. You can hit control Z until you are able to undo all of your mistakes. Once you have 28A with all the lines in it, we're going to save our document, so click on File, Save As, make sure we click on Browse. We're going to select in our left pane, we're going to select this PC, we're going to select Downloads, and then we're going to say Save. Your document is now saved. Step 14 says insert a page break in the document, so place your cursor at the insertion point before the text in the number 22 multi-level list. So here 22 should be your last number on page 1. On your keyboard you're going to press control and then hit enter. It's going to insert a page break. In order for you to see the page break on the home tab in the paragraph section turn on the show hide button or the paragraph mark button and you'll see it says page break. We're going to insert a page number. So we're going to go to the Insert tab. When the header and footer section, select Page Number. 
bottom of page and we're looking for bold click on your scroll bar hold and drag looking for bold numbers three so here you should say page two of two or page one of two there's a blank line in your document you're going to click right in front of the blank line and hit backspace so now yours should just be the page number is the only thing in the footer go ahead and close the header and footer we're going to check out a couple of different views so go to your view tab and we're going to click side to side view in the page movement section and you see what your document should look like now we're going to change our view back to the normal vertical we're going to save our document. We can click on the little Save button here, or you can click on File, Save. We're going to minimize our file, and we're going to click on Upload My File. Go to Downloads, select our file, click Open. We want to say yes. We want to submit the file. If you by happen, if by chance you happen to work on your file and you're not ready to submit click on no I'm not ready it will store it here you can go back later download that file and complete working so we are ready so we're going to click on yes submit the file if you have any questions you know my cell phone number call me